This is John Black, Super Chemist, showing you how to get concentrated hydrochloric acid. I've been out of commission with my back for the last three weeks, uh, so I haven't been able to make any videos. I'm going to try and get some easy ones up here. As you can see, this cleans masonry. So it's got a 31.45%. I want to show you something about hydrochloric acid. Now, that hydrochloric acid has some kind of contamination in it because it's not perfectly clear. For all the experiments that I do, I, you know, I usually make something and it's solid, I recrystallize it or whatever. Um, so I don't really have a problem with it. I wanted to bring up this chart I got up here because I don't know why I, I hate percentages. It tells me nothing. I could care what percentage it is. What I care about is how many moles it is, uh, but whatever. Um, so I use this chart here. And if you notice, 31.45. That's like right in between these two right here, right? And this is a mole per liter. So that's about a 10, okay? So and most of the acids that you get for uh, cleaning concrete, that's where you find it in Lowe's or Ace Hardware, wherever. Uh, remember, I'm in, in uh, the U.S., uh, America, so, uh, you know, I can't speak for other countries. But uh, just go in and ask or... Uh, Look around and you'll see it. Now, this is what Lowe's has, but they changed it, and I see they have a different brand there, but it still says muriatic acid. That's what it'll say on the uh, cover. That's the old-fashioned way of saying hydrochloric acid. They used to call it muriatic acid. Um, but anyways, this is a nice whatever. If you want to, you know, refer back to it, maybe you got, you're got doing you're doing the same stuff I'm doing. Um and here's your densities. Um, oh, that's what I wanted to say. Was since it's a 10, you know what I mean? That means there's 10 moles in every liter. That means every 100 milliliters has one mole. So it's easy to figure anything out. You need two moles of something, 200 milliliters. You need 75% of a mole, that's 75% of 100 milliliters. Uh, it's easy to figure out, you know what I mean? You need three and a half moles, that's 350 milliliters. Okay, it's nice, easy math. There's nothing, nothing that, you know what I mean? You can do it in your head. Now, if you're a regular watcher, by now you'll get that when my videos say how to get, uh, if that's the title, how to get, that means I'm just showing you how to get it. I'm not actually making it. Uh, you either get it pure or you get it and recrystallize it. Um, now, if my video says how to make, then I'm actually making it. Um, but I did want to show you how to make it since I'm some here uh all you do is this is your sulfuric acid this is your table salt it has to be a chloride like sodium chloride or potassium chloride sodium chloride is obviously the cheapest um, you just drip it on there and it will produce a gas of hydrogen chloride and that can be let into some water you're gonna have to put this in ice to make sure that this water actually more than ice put it in you know like a salt uh, water bath you know, try to get it down as cold as you can uh, because it's real hard to get it really, you know, 35%. Uh, but you can get it really concentrated if you ice it down. Make sure you keep it really cold so that all the HCL doesn't just escape. You know what I mean? And uh, it's always good unless you don't, I mean, if you don't have a fume load, you're going to have to put a bubbler on this. And then whatever doesn't go in there, it'll go into the bubbler. And you can scrub it with some sodium hydroxide. Now, this right here happens just spontaneously. You drip, drip this on here spontaneously, this reaction is going to happen. You're going to make some sodium bisulfate and your HCl. But if you want it to go past there, you're going to have to heat this up to like 200 degrees Celsius or something like that. And then you will get it to go to this. This, this is still acid. This is a bisulfate. It's still as acidic, just not as acidic. And uh, at 200 degrees Celsius, it will attack the sodium chloride, and you'll make some more HCl gas and some sodium sulfate. So if you're going to heat it up, you could make this formula. Um, you're going to need two moles of this, one mole to take it to here and another mole of sodium chloride to get it to here, right? And that's basically it on the HCl. Uh, Hope you all have a great day, and you always remember, science is great.